Now I need to think about Christmas ornaments for it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So yeah, this thing is lit up like a friggin' Christmas tree. I got the inside all lit up. I got the front lit up. Got three Cooler Master fans, two strips, one on each side of them, one going one direction, the other going the other. And then I got two strips inside, plus more of the Cooler Master cooling fans. These are the dual halos, which they work pretty nice. I replaced them with a higher RPM. So now I've got a little bit more room as far as uh, cooling this thing down in case it starts heating up. So that's all Cooler Masters. The stand here for the GPU, that is also a Cooler Master. These hoses here, or covers for the hoses that go to the pump to the radiator, those are also a Cooler Master product. But the bad thing about them is, is they don't quite cover the hose. You can kind of see a steam, a steam, a seam uh, right there. If you can see the black stripe, so yeah, they could have made them a little bit larger to fit around their hoses. Even though, you know, they probably don't make their own product. They probably get it from China or something. Who knows? So in the back over there, that little blue dot, that is a. Cooler Master controller for all of the RGB, ARGB, LEDs, or whatever you want to call them, which consists of the Cooler Master pump, fans, hose covers, and the GPU stand. Also, the light strips that are on the front and on the inside of the system case. It can handle them even if it is not a Cooler Master product. The only problem with it is, is that like, it's like the stand, it, there's no setting for the stand, you have to choose other, and then if the LEDs are not, because um, it counts or knows how many LEDs are in each fan automatically, and it'll call it an, like, an RGB product, but for that stand, it doesn't come up, or with the LED strips, you have to kind of type, if they're not all lighting up at the same time the way they're supposed to, then you have to, like right now I have it set to kind of like, I don't know what you want to call it, but if they're not lighting up, like the whole strip is lighting up, then you have to set the amount of LEDs that are there on that channel. There's three channels on that thing. You are allowed four. They say five, but you are allowed four uh, different things on each channel. So that worked out pretty good for what I'm doing here. And then I had to get some Y adapters and shit like that. For Those are also made by Cooler Master as well. I didn't want to go with too much aftermarket shit because uh, sometimes, you know, when you mix and match stuff, it doesn't quite work out very well. Like these LED strips, I had a problem with trying to get them to work correctly. Finally, I got everything to work. Now, the box that's underneath, that is a, what do they call it? A Lindley, something like that. I think I said it correctly. I'm not sure. That is also a controller for RGBs. Now, the brand name that I just mentioned that I'm not going to try mentioning again because I probably screwed up saying it when I said it the first time. That's what these ATX power supply cable and the GPU cables are. They're lighting up right now, and they're actually pretty damn bright. They're, they're real bright. And that also has software that you download. They'll work off of, you know, whatever you got as far as your motherboard controller goes. Even if you don't have a controller and you're using off of the um, uh, BIOS, turning them on and stuff like that, saying that they'll work that way. It has a power lead that goes off to the SATA connections for your power for the SATA drives. And then it has another connection that goes to the <coughs> sorry three pin ARGB or RGB uh, what the hell do you want to call it uh, addressable on the motherboard and then there is a USB 2.0 which the problem with the USB 2.0 is there's not enough headers on the motherboard in order to connect a lot of this shit so I had to pick up that little thing right there with the blue dots on there what that is is basically a kind of like a um, 
adapter for adding more USBs to your motherboard. Now it's got, those are actually two separate boards and you can split them apart if you want to. They, they're basically held together uh, by the tape that is underneath them. It's a double face tape padded so none of the terminals touch the system case at all or anything else that's metal. And what that does is it allows you to add more USB devices uh, to the motherboard without having you know a bunch of shit little wires or any type of any other issues. Now, I did have before I start all this lighting thing, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a plate on the back, and it's got two rectangles and four screw holes on there, and that basically oh, I just go around this side. How's that? There you go. You see that right in the bottom. And that right there basically was for um, USB 2.0s, and they plugged right into the motherboard. But after I ended up doing all the RGBs and shit like that with the LED lights, um, well, I ended up taking that out. Now I can actually put that back in and plug it into that. So there's two boards there. There's two inputs on each board. I've got four inputs, and that allows me to do some expanding, which is kind of cool. Now, I did... I got Steam. I got an account with Steam. My kid uses it for her gaming and shit like that. And I ended up doing the, um, what's it, Grand Theft Auto on here. And I was playing around with for a older motherboard and an older GPU. Now, this is a Radeon 9. And this thing holds up pretty damn good for itself. I really didn't have to change any settings. I didn't have to change anything with as far as the game goes. It ran smooth and ran good. Uh, but I'm not a gamer, even though I like the way this thing looks, even though I said that, well, it's too flashy, you know, why, you know, sometimes flashy is not better, it's just flashy. I like this, and I think it's all pretty cool. Like I said before, I kind of got into the neon tubes and LEDs and stuff with vehicles, bikes, cars, and shit like that, and, uh, you know, this is kind of, like, no different. So, yeah, so... The only thing that I have is the memory is operated with not the motherboard, but uh, G Skull has got its own software to operate the memory uh, as far as the lighting goes on that. So I got like three programs that operate the lighting. Luckily, they all can be synced up with each other or they all can be customized individually to whatever you want to do and however you want to do it. So I need to get this thing back together on the well, the corner where I keep this thing, where you really can't see all these lights, uh, even though you know I will be moving it to a different location soon in the basement as far as my computer goes, and try to keep it dust-free from all the guitar work that I've been doing. Um, and I need to readjust and, and change settings here for these LEDs. So I ended up picking up a new keyboard. And this is also a Cooler Masters. It's an aluminum aluminum top. It's not the whole thing's not aluminum, but the top is aluminum. It's got all the idiot lights inside it. The only thing I don't like is I like the uh, Cyber Power had a roller over here for your volume. And I kind of liked that. But this doesn't have it. I think this is like, uh, I believe these buttons here control your audio, which is fine. Not a big deal. So time to put shit back together.